I commonly use a five stroke progression to get new power started. Two strokes in the stern, two strokes in the bow, and one stroke that both can use. I use this in as little as 10 minutes at a put in, get people started going down the river, or I really like to have an hour or two hours to work with. This video will cover this progression and quickly mentioned key points for each stroke. Other v videos will cover each stroke in much more detail. I typically start by doing a short demonstration and then work with each canoe individually so they can feel the proper stroke. The progression goes like this. For the stern, we start with the stern draw and the stern pry. For the bow, a bow draw and a cross bow draw. And then for both paddlers, a basic forward stroke. By using the strokes in this progression, beginning paddlers will be able to keep the boat moving in a straight line and also be able to perform simple turns and maneuvers. Here are some key points for each stroke. The first stroke is the stern pry. It's used to turn the boat to the onside or the side you're paddling on. The stroke components consist of three things, a plastered blade, your hand on the gunwale, and the T-grip outside of the boat. The power is a short burst and a pry. Going too long, it actually becomes a backstroke. The next stroke is the stern draw, and that's used to turn the boat to the offside. And it consists of a more vertical paddle, a blade at 45 degrees. And the power is you try to grab the back of the boat, maybe push out with that T-grip hand, to lift the paddle before it hits the boat or that stops the turn. After giving the stern paddle those two strokes, I just give the bow paddler a very quick forward stroke. And that forward stroke at this stage is really just getting the paddle in line with the canoe or a more vertical paddle. With the stern paddler having two steering strokes, and the bow paddle are having the basic forward stroke, I immediately move them into an exercise. And the goal of the exercise is to keep the boat in a straight line. To do this, paddlers pick a point to aim at. The bow paddler only uses forward strokes and the stern paddler should only be steering with a stern draw or stern pry. On the way out, if both paddlers are on the same side, that means the stern paddler can focus in on the pry. On the way back, Paddler should be on opposite sides, and that way the stern paddler can focus on the stern draw. This exercise can then be repeated with the stern paddler adding in some forward strokes while still steering. It's important to emphasize at this stage that the most important job of the stern is to keep the boat heading in the right direction. For the bow paddler, we start with the bow draw. That's used to turn the boat to the on side. It consists of the thumb down and the blade at 45 degrees. Using some body rotation, you can bring the bow to the paddle. Make sure to lift the paddle up before you hit the boat or that will stop the turn. The next stroke is the cross bow draw and that's used to turn the boat to the off side. This consists of making sure that your thumb is up Use rotation to bring the paddle up to 45 degrees for your plant. And then again, using rotation, pull the bow to the paddle. After the bow paddler has their turning strokes, I move them into an exercise to spin the boat in either direction. The stern paddler can add in their turning strokes and you can turn together. I also like an exercise where I push the boat to add momentum and then do a minor initiation. The bow paddler can just plant their paddle and feel how this stroke will help them in their turn. I purposely keep the descriptions very basic to start with and then add more details when we have more time with the students. If you have any thoughts about this progression or use a different progression to get started, please leave a comment.